Hey, I have a question. Who's Rose Flower? And uh, why is she now receiving unemployment benefits at my address? If somebody else is living here, I'd appreciate if somebody, uh, well, would had told me about it sooner. Seriously. Uh, see. Rosemary. I'm sorry. I always, my mother's name. You know, we lost her suddenly last year. And you kept using her. My mother's name, while well, she was alive, and my address, and my last name, to defraudulently, defraudulently? Well, you defrauded the state of New Hampshire for kids' benefits for years. We sent it back every time we got the letter. We went to the Department of Health and Human Services many times a year. It was finally that lady that never did anything for me that worked for the governor in our state house. Then they stopped, finally. But, uh, Rose, Rose Flower, huh? Yeah, on Old Lake Shore Road. It's not like I haven't told you where I live. It's not like you can't run the license plates you've seen hanging up. Rose Flower. That was smart. Yeah. How many more fraudulent activities do you want to do in my name? Or address? And where's this person hiding in my home? Is that what I hear? That weird noise over there? Up oh. Smart, I'll give you that. Yeah. Makes me think of the kid that cried wolf. I think my father said he finally got eaten by the wolf. You know, all I can say at this point is, you should have shot me years ago when I told you to. But seeing you didn't, and seeing I think you're all um, pretty old at this point, maybe you'll get out of prison before... Old age gets you. <sighs> Any other fraudulent activities you want to accuse me of? Defraud our state for? You know, money's not free. Even though we print it, it costs money. And we have to back it with something. We back our money with debt, oddly enough. At the end of World War II, we had a big meeting over there at uh, Mount Washington Hotel. That's why Europe prospered after the war. See, England went on the gold standard because of the meeting we had there. And I'm going to say this at the moment. You know the one major problem with Americans? True Americans. They don't like to ruffles any, ruffle anyone's feathers. I'm trying to say they don't like to cause trouble. And they don't want to be seen as a troublemaker. So instead, they'll just shut their mouth and hope somebody else would deal with it. Because they don't want anybody to get the wrong idea about them. You have all the wrong ideas you want about me because apparently everyone does. I'm one hell of a troublemaker, ain't I? Apparently I'm... <sighs> Whatever. Nobody else is gonna do the job I do it for you apparently now. I always wanted to run for US Senate. Guess I could, I mean, I got a brain injury, right? Maybe that would mean I could do a better job than what uh, we're told, even in our state constitution, not to have let happen. Yeah, that's a uh, professional politician. It says, don't let them have benefits. Except if you do go down that road, you got to redo it every year because it's too damn dangerous. Yeah, you made a whole new class of people. More ignorant than ever seen before. I think King George even would have uh, given you all props for your ignorance. <sighs> Clean this act up, please. Now. I've had enough. <laughs>